Hi there, welcome to our second video for Space Simulator. This is an intermediate video, and today we're going to go to the Moon from the Earth using the Orbit Planner. The Orbit Planner is a really neat feature of the game because it lets newbies like myself carry out quite complex orbital maneuvers that would otherwise be out of my reach. We start our mission in an Earth orbit. Getting to the Moon involves four steps. One, getting a co-planner orbit. Two, circularizing the orbit. Three, translunar injection. And four, lunar orbit insertion. Let's open up the orbit planner. The relevant stats to pay attention to are eccentricity and inclination. Our first step is to ensure that our starting orbit is on the same plane as our destination orbit. As I zoom out, you can see that all the planets in the solar system in this game lie on the same plane, and we need to align our orbit with that plane. To modify the orbit, click the Orbit button. If we try to change the normal now, you'll see that no matter how much we tilt it, our orbit won't actually align with the rest of the planets. The axis of rotation depends on the location of our spacecraft, so we'll need to wait until our spacecraft is at a point that intersects the ecliptic plane. I'm going to speed up the time and wait for our spacecraft to intersect the plane, which is about now. Adjust the normal to get the inclination to zero, or as close as possible. Hit apply to implement the changes. Now that our orbit is on the correct plane, let's circularize it. The easiest way to circularize the orbit is to give your spacecraft a boost at the apsis, the point of greatest distance from the center, which is indicated here by a faint line. Increasing the delta V at this point will have the effect of increasing the altitude of the orbit on the opposite side. We're aiming to get the eccentricity to zero, or as close as possible. Then apply. Now that our orbit is circular and coplanar, it's time to go to the moon. Increase delta V again until the orbit just catches the moon. If you see the orbit breaking, it just means it's become a hyperbolic trajectory. We now have an orbit that'll take us to the moon. However, this actually doesn't work yet, because by the time we get to the other side of the orbit, the moon would have moved to a different position. So we actually need to know where the moon would be by the time we're on the other side. And for this, we have the very convenient Show Apo button. When you click it, it puts all the bodies in the solar system to where they would be by the time you're on the other side of your orbit. We can see that the moon has moved further along, so we need to adjust delta T to catch it. Wherever the moon happens to be, you'll always be able to catch it within the one revolution. In reality, you would stop short of the moon and use the moon's gravitational field to pull you around in a figure 8 trajectory, adding Apollo 11. But since we've got plenty of fuel, we're doing it the easy way. Let's head for the moon. As we're getting close to the moon, our orbit is starting to be affected by the moon's gravity. In future releases of the game, we plan to have an orbit predictor which will show the actual path of the orbit as it is affected by the surrounding planets, instead of an idealized orbit as is the case here. Earth 
Okay, now that we're on the other side of the moon, let's bring up the orbit panel and change the reference for the orbit from the Earth to the moon. You can see that now we've got a hyperbolic orbit because if we just continued, we'd return back to Earth. So let's decrease delta V all the way until we wrap around the moon again. Because the moon is small in comparison, we should keep our orbit as close to the moon as possible to avoid our spacecraft being pulled back by the Earth. Finally, to circularize the orbit, we'll go to the periapsis, which for lunar orbit is called perilune, and retrograde. and you can keep repeating this process until you get the desired altitude. And that's it, we made it to the moon. I'm just going to prograde and horizontally level our spacecraft. Mission complete.